Alright, welcome back. Uh, before we go to quartz, I did add on a factor here to produce uh, copper plates or copper sheets, I believe they're called. I um, yeah, copper sheets. I just want to call them copper plates. But, set this up to produce copper plates real qui quick because I'm going to need them in the future, so it's like might as well get that production going. So we'll just let that sit there and build them now and store them, you know, in our secondary copper tower. And we got like our iron tower with like some copper thing over there and our copper tower here. Hmm. But now we need to head off over to the quartz, which I'm going to try to take a shortcut there. If I can, I just need to... Dude, line it up. Line it up. Line it up. There we go. Jump up to the top and probably fall to my death. Because we're just going the long way. Okay, I'm just going to do this to make a trail. Get this here. Spitter. Hey, spitter, spitter. Oh, there's two of them. Okay. And there's radiation over there, so... And they're running over to it. It's like, hey, come back over here. Come on, come over, come play over here. Come on, come on. Where'd the other one go? He's still here. Oh, you flanking me, bro. Why are you flanking me? Ow, that one. That got me. Alright, we got the spitters down. Well, there's also another uh, module over here. What were these? Pure, yeah, these are pure quartz. We got that guy there, we got a uh, big dude here, and I think there's an alpha spitter wandering around down there, if I remember right. Can't remember what that one takes to open. There he is. He's wandering around. I want to get his attention, I really don't want him to try to run after me. I think he'd, I think he'd tether back before he got here, but, you know. Don't want to risk it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, minor, minor, minor. Oh yeah, I didn't. I did not plug that in. Well, I got to test my way back. I forgot entirely about that, that I made it a completely separate power pole. Yes, you make me my quartz. Alright, special, special ma'am. Quartz is easy. I haven't actually done too much with quartz, honestly. I've fetched a lot of resource sinks. But I've never really produced the oscillators that you can use from it for too much. You can produce some other things with it too. This mineral shows purity levels akin to synthetic quartz manufactured on Earth and can be used to improve communication and exploration technologies. A new research tree can now be accessed in the MAM. Silica. We can make silica out of quartz. Also refined quartz. Yeah, this is the oscillator I was talking about. Use it to make all kinds of fun things. But, time to progress on this. How much are we pumping out? 120 a minute? Why did I, why did I do that over there? And if I remember right, you don't smelt this at all. You do constructors. Splitter.
He's building a big mess, you know. It'll work. I'm just literally building messily, you know, it's like... The point I'm just trying to do is to get this stuff set the heck up. Is this the one I changed? Yeah. Alright. Storage! Do 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 do. Organization storage. Bum 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 bum. Bum 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 bum. I mean, I got four of these, 18 a minute. I mean, that's more than 60, I'm pretty certain. 18 times 4, 72, yeah, so. What maximum overdrive? Need to upgrade those bad boys. Alright, so now we got more quartz being produced. I think that, yeah, quartz is just, it's nice, you know, it's nice material. Especially nice for getting points from. You know, the resource sink points for tickets. Quartz is also the primer, one of the primary components in making the lights. So if you want to decorate, you know, your base with lights and illuminate stuff in the dark, well, you're gonna need lots of quartz. So those lights can add up power-wise. Built a power pyramid once and I... All the lights I just filled it with actually were consuming like 1500 megawatts. <laughs> it was kind of insane. I did mostly because I didn't realize how much power I was sucking up with this, how many I used. Alright, wrong thing, it's... It's not the one we want. Alright, got that, got that, research the oscillator. Single technologies, five oscillators. Why do I keep running to the equipment workshop? It doesn't help me, it doesn't help me to progress down this. I'm gonna make two of those, because I don't have the quartz. It uses a buttload of quartz. I need manufacturer, for manufacturers to be able to make uh, crystal oscillators. But I don't want to make them by hand. Alright, I got crystal oscillators. Why I can I get it again? That is aggravating. I somehow built three more than I needed, apparently. I'm a fool. And then you got frequency mapping, which is how you unlock the map in the game. And then here's the explorer, which needs 10 oscillators and 100 modular frames, which I still have not set up an assembler for. I really should. All right, now we got another awesome sink running, and I broke my power. I had it running. We'll deal with it. Re-engage power. Now we're gonna build Mr. Spice Elevator. So I had this assembler building a smart plating, because I just put the components manually in it for 50 smart plate because I knew that no that's how much it takes unless they changed you know how much it takes which who knows they might have so yeah now let's uh build the space elevator so we can uh, advance to tier the next tier so that I can you know build bloody uh coal power plants to get off my d biomass dependency okay well this seems like a good place to plunk it down for now, since I'm going to move it later anyway. But I love the space elevator still. It is still one of the coolest animations, in my opinion. It's just so glorious. Comes the cable. Waving back forth, waving back and forth. Oh, that is just 
gloriously brilliant. Hook it into the anchor. Ah, oh, nice. I just love that so much. It's like the best rendition for a space elevator in my opinion. But yeah, 50 smart play would be funny if I looked at it. It's like 100 smart play, I'd be like, wait, what? All right, then we just load the smart plating in. We seal it on up. And then we send. Deploy it to the space station above, I'm guessing. And there she goes! And now we should have access to the other tiers. Well, two more tiers. Tier 3 and 4. We can get vehicular. Transport and coal power plot. This is why I started production on, uh the copper sheets since they're used in a lot of this stuff. The liquids and what have you. Move on to basic steel and all that stuff. I'm gonna probably at this point try to stockpile more concrete and so I can start to, you know, build my base kind of thing. Cause I kind of want to do something different with my coal power this time. I've always built the coal power by like right on the water with the water extractors. I'm thinking I might try to build it to pump the water over to like my main base. It's not gonna be too far from the water. I'm just kind of interested in that if that's feasible to do even though I know that it's easier to build by water instead of trying to move it. But you know, it's just I wanna try it for fun. By the way, that was kind of getting into some of the quartz, and as you see, I'm going to need to build some stuff to actually be able to get the explorer and other stuff. But we will get into that that kind of stuff in the another video. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do in the next video right off. I might go out to the coal, along with kind of starting like the foundation for my uh, actual struct structured base. But uh, I'm not 100% on that one yet. I am going to probably just set up another uh, assembler process to start building modular frames and get that out of the way. But that's something we'll have to see. By the way, I'd like to thank you for watching and uh, if you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll see you in the next one down the road. Bye for now.